this video I would like to show how to connect to Elasticsearch from .NET Core application. In my case, it, it's just simple console application I created. So first, uh, there are two official clients for, for .NET that can be used with Elasticsearch in this um, example I will be using low level client elasticsearch.net so the first thing I need to do to install this package elasticsearch.net So now it is was added successfully and it is as simple as but let first I create some additional class in my uh, in my application that uh, it will be something like just car for example. and we'll have two properties make of the car and let's do int price And let's create a constructor for that to price make and price. program file to connect to Elasticsearch we will just need to create client so we will create new instance of Elasticsearch Elastic actually it's called Elastic low level Client. So we can do it here with Elasticsearch.net, and that's it. How to create a client? But it's it can accept some additional settings. This we will create to if Elasticsearch runs on default. Localhost nine two zero zero but we can create settings and pass it to this client let's uh, pretend that it's not default port and we can create connection configuration and pass new in my case it is localhost and we can also say specify request timeout to elastic so. let's 
So now we can pass these settings as parameter to the client. So now let's create new car object. Say Ford price twenty thousand and now we can pass it to the client at AB response and we will do it. It can be synchronously or, syn or with a sync. So we will be doing this synchronously. So we will abate client. So in the text sync and specify the response type, um, string response, and we will pass. So we will specify the first parameter is index, let's do it car. Then we will pass. And then we will pull pass data. Pass our car object here. So we passed first index ID and body of type post data. And after that, we can just we will look it's in Kibana, but we can just print console response also and save that go to Kibana so currently I don't have any indexes created yet but if I run my application, hopefully I don't have any errors in it. It is successful. Actually, if I got a post instead of whole response, just get body from it, it would be exactly what was inserted, but still go to Kiban and look there. So, so now um, I think just refresh it. Actually, If it succeeded, let's just refresh it one more time. And something was wrong, I guess. 
Let's do String here. Got body from it. is updated so it means first time it should work keeping it's pretty new to me so I'm not 100% sure if it's using it correctly oh it, now it is here so now we can create index for car has made price and all other fields and now um, I think it is here that we can see that it was inserted for 20,000 ID so and this is simple example of on connecting to Elasticsearch using Elasticsearch.net client. Thanks for watching.